everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down wheel pose for you. So it's a big back bend, lots of full body stretchy opening stuff is involved, but I thought that I'd break it down for you and show you how to come in to it really slowly. Of course, you're going to have to be warmed up for this video. There's a reason that back bends are at the end of our practice. It's because we need our bodies to be really warm and open. So I'll link a video down below um, which you can warm up with and it gets into the shoulders as well. So we're going to begin lying down on our yoga mats. And first of all, we're going to work into bridge pose, which is kind of the prep pose for wheel. So you want the, first of all, lift the sit bones up and then tilt the pelvis up. So instead of having that arch in the spine, you tilt the pelvis so that you can bring the lower back down to the mat as well. And then just take a moment, draw down to the shoulders, down through the shoulders. Take a couple of breaths, release the hands down by the side. And then go ahead and walk the feet in so the feet are nice and close towards the sit bones. And as a rough rule, you want to be able to tick, tickle the back of your ankle with the longest finger. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry about it. Um, eventually, you'll be able to get the feet back a little bit further. Knees stay in line with the hips. So your hips are here, your knees are here, a little bit further up. Yeah, keep those in line. From here, ground down through the feet, ground down through the palms. Inhale, push the mat away, lift the hips up to the sky. So maybe this is where you stay for a few breaths. You want to think about the chest coming up towards the chin. And then if you want to, you can interlace the fingers, draw the shoulder blades together a little bit more, push the mat away with the feet and lift the hips up a little bit higher. What you want to be aware of here is you're moving through the upper to mid back rather than compressing the pose in the lower back. Breathe. And then slowly release, so release the hands one vertebrae at a time, release the spine down to the mat. Toe hold the feet out, allow the knees to knock together. I quite like just to bring my hands over my head. What you don't want to do when you're working with back bends over and over, you don't want to counter it by bringing the knees to the chest. What that does is it just counters everything that you've just done. And you also don't want to go from one extreme to another too quickly because it's uh, a bit rough on the spine. So we're ready to work into our wheel pose. So you want to approach it the same way, so from your bridge, feet nice and close towards the sit bones, knees in line with the hips, feet in line with the sit bones, hands down by the side. Again, rough estimate, just tickling the back of your ankle with your longest finger. Ground down through the feet, ground down through the palms. Lift the hips up, so hips always lift before anything else. And then from here, you can lift the hands to the sky, plug the shoulders into the torso. Bring the hands behind the shoulders, just be aware of your hair. So you want the fingers to spin towards the shoulders. Push the mat away with the hands. Maybe you come up to the head. Just gently rest the head on the mat. Maybe you want to lift all the way up. Breathe. And then when you're ready, gently come down, try and land shoulders first. Releasing down to the earth. Okay, and just taking a moment to breathe, coming back to the breath. So we'll do one more wheel. And if you want to work with that karma with the head gently resting down onto the mat, that's totally fine. So first of all, your prep, hands down by the side, feet nice and close towards the sit bones. Ground down through the feet, inhale, lift up through the hips. From there, lift the hands to the sky, plug the shoulders into the mat, 
bring the hands behind the shoulders. Push the mat away with the hands and the feet. You also want to engage the core. Lift up through the heart. Breathe into the upper back. And then exhale, lower it down. Again, try and lend shoulders first. Widen out the feet. Allow the knees to knock in. And back to the breath. And then to counter it, bring the knees gently towards the chest. On your exhale, drop your knees to your lap. Either keep the gaze to the sky or bring the gaze gently out and over towards the right. Inhale through centre. Exhale, drop the knees to the right. Either keep the gaze to the sky or gently bring the gaze out to the left. Inhale back to centre. Release the feet down onto the earth. So I hope that that helped. I'm going to put a link to a blog post that I did a little while ago. But it's got like a little stage infographic thing that you might find helpful and useful. And I do hope that you do. If you have any requests for any future videos or pose breakdowns, um, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. And please do like, share and subscribe to my channel, it really does help me a lot. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next yoga video. Bye guys.